you went silent, uh, so I guess uh, we should start speaking from, from this end. Uh, I would like to uh, welcome you to uh, the uh, keynote speech of the 22nd uh, European Financial Management Association uh, meeting. And uh, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. And uh, I've heard very, very positive feedback about the conference. I'm also very pleased about that. And all of us are very pleased about that. Um, uh, the sessions were very well attended. And uh, the exchange of ideas and, uh, and uh, feedback from uh, uh, discussions and session chairs have been uh, uh, truly appreciated, appreciated by the authors. So that's, uh, that's quite uh, um, uh, good and uh, um, uh, a positive outcome for this, uh, for this conference. Um, I'm John Board. I'm Dean of the Henley Business School. Um, it's always difficult to then describe the business school, so I guess like an onion, um, we're part of the University of Reading, in whose hall you're now sitting, and the ICMA Centre, which has been hosting this excellent conference, is of course part of the business school. Um, looking around, the hall probably betrays or celebrates the university's origins, which is it's the only British university founded between the two world wars. Um, if you believe in institutional memory, that gives the university a rather interesting take, being halfway between what we jokingly call the ancient universities, that is, those before the war, and modern ones. Um, Henley Management School, or Management College, itself was founded in 1946, and its either mandate or chosen path was to worry and be balanced somehow really the long-term social and reconstruction needs of the UK after the war with the di rather direct short-term returns needed for what were then global industries. Um, it's delightful to say the challenges facing any business school in 2013 are exactly the same. Um, moving on briefly then to the real interest of the evening, I'm here to introduce um, John Campbell. In your conference pack, you'll have a two-page summary of his life. Um, I'm happy to say that John's given me permission to depart from the usual recitation of this. Um, and in brief, therefore, John's the Morton L. and Carol S. Olsham Professor of Economics at Harvard. He grew up not far from here in Oxford and has attended, one way or the other, four of the great universities in the world, Oxford, Yale, Princeton, and Harvard. Um, given a transatlantic balance, we look forward to welcoming him back to the UK. Um, my notes say he's published 81 articles and several books. I'm told that actually the number is 85, so it proves how quickly they come out between publishing the brochure and now. John has served as president of the American Finance Association, was director of the program in asset pricing at the NBER. He's a fellow of the Econometric Society and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and, as always, balancing both sides of the Atlantic, a corresponding fellow of the British Academy and honorary fellow of Corpus Christi College in Oxford. He's a founding partner of Aris Reed's Capital, a Boston-based quantitative asset management firm. That was brief. I've done my duty. And having introduced John, I'd like to invite him to deliver the European Financial Management Association keynote speech for 2013. John. Thank you very much. Well, thank, thank you very much for those kind words, uh, John. I was, uh, this walking across the stage here was an exercise in risk management because I was warned about the, the uh, possibility of tripping as I came. So I managed to get through that part of the evening. Let me see if I can bring up my slides. Whoops. I think we'll say, remind me later. Okay. Good. So uh, my title this evening is uh, Understanding Volatility Risk. And if you stop and think about this for a moment, that's, that's sort of the, the, the words volatility risk should, should give us pause. I mean, it's a little bit like the fact that the if we think about um, the, 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 the numerous English rivers that, that are called the river